Hey, how's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video and in this one I'm going to be fully upgrading the ETR1 supercar, the final supercar in the DLC. I'm going to be purchasing it, fully upgrading it and uh, doing this showcase video for you guys. Um, if you did miss any of the previous two videos where I fully upgraded the Progen Tyrus and the RE7B, I'll link those down in the description so you guys can uh, take a look at those. But in this one we are going to order and uh, fully upgrade the ETR one, which is the final supercar out of the uh, the three new ones. Here we go, 1.995 million, basically two million uh, dollars to purchase, which is expensive, but it's the least expensive one. But that doesn't make it cheap by any means. Now for the liveries, I don't actually know which one I want. I may even just like order it in this uh, this red livery, but then just remove it in the customs because you can do that, which is uh, a good thing. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have it delivered. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you guys when we have our new ETR1 supercar. Alright then, here we go. We got the new ETR1 supercar in the garage. And uh, looks like it's all ready to go. May as well just go straight to the customs, full upgrade it, see what customization this thing's got. Hopefully it's got some good stuff in it. I have mentioned that I've been pretty disappointed with the customization on the other cars. And I doubt this one will be too different but you know it's good that we finally got wow great start and the spoilers just flown off the car okay that's quite interesting great start to uh to this video but yeah we'll see what customization it's got i don't know what i'm gonna do with the styling of it i might just like completely remove the livery uh, i did that with the progen tyrus and i think that ended up looking quite good as well so i may do that with this one but here we go into the customs and uh yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do with this car. It looks, it's got like a really wide body, like compared to other supercars. You know, you like the wheel arch is pretty insane. So uh, anyway, let's go. We'll do full armor. We'll do race brakes. So uh, we've got some bumper options, which is good. We haven't had those. All right, nice. We got a canards and intercooler. We'll go for that one. Rear bumpers as well. We can put a tow hook. All right, we may as well choose that one. Engine upgrade, get the full engine. Uh, we can have some titanium exhaust. I'm not, that's only on the left side. I'm not too sure if I want that. I'll put it on for now, but I may actually remove that afterwards. You can have a carbon hood if you wanted, but I'm going to leave it off for now. I might decide to put it back on uh, once I've got like some nice colours that I want to wanted to uh, choose in this car. Alright, headlights, xenon headlights. Not going to bother with neons for now. Now we can, I'm going to see what the colours look like with the liveries first, but I may just choose to uh, to completely remove it. So if I go down, oh we've got some mirror options as well. We can have coloured, carbon or custom. I guess I'll just go for, uh, for coloured for now. And we'll get the yellow and black plate. Alright, respray. So we'll see what colours we can actually choose this car. Alright, so that's the main colour. And I'm guessing the secondary colour is going to be the roll cage, possibly. Yeah, the roll cage and some uh, some extra detail on the sides. Alright, so they're the two colours. Bearing in mind, that's what we can change. I'm going to have a look and see like what colour scheme I actually want to go over. Oh, and we can kind of can choose the colour on the brake pads as well, which is nice. Alright, so for the colour that I've actually chosen, the primary colour I've gone for a metallic silver, and the secondary colour I've gone for the race yellow. And it looks quite good with the livery on it as for now. This is the other livery option. Um, I'm not sure if I actually showed you guys. But since you can't change the blue on this one or the red on this one, I think that looks sick without any livery. Look at how good that looks. I'm a big fan of that because it goes with the text on the wheels. It goes with the, the rim color on the wheels as well. The yellow and the gray matches up nicely. So I think I'm going to go for that. It looks so cool. I'm actually quite pleased with that. We could go for some uh, yellow options, but I think I'll just keep it with the uh, with the silvery grey. Now for the respray, this is what I, this is what I've chosen. The primary colour is a metallic cast iron silver. Secondary colour is a race yellow. And I wasn't sure what to do for the pearlescent. I was having a quick scroll through, and I came down to uh, to these yellow options. At first, I thought it looked pretty good. Then I wasn't too sure if I should choose it or not. It looks really, really unique. I don't think I've ever done any type of grey with a with a bright yellow pearlescent before. And it does match up with the secondary colour. 
but usually when I go for like a grey, I think a, a diamond blue looks nice, so I'm not sure what I should actually choose. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should go for. I'm kind of torn between them, but for now I think I'm going to choose this diamond blue. But if you think I should go for the yellow one, let me know in the comments. Because I can always go back and uh, and change it. But yeah, the secondary colour is uh, the race yellow. I mean, you could go for any... You go for any color, but I just went for I just went for yellow because it matches up with the uh, the text on the rims. And I don't think these rims look too bad. Um, we got some spoiler options as well. We can actually remove the spoiler completely. Can get a low level yellow spoiler, a drift wing, and a GT wing. The GT wing looks nice. That's probably what I'll go for. Don't really fancy any of these ones, so we'll go for the GT wing. Uh, transmission, get that fully upgraded. Get the turbo on as well. Alright, so wheels, I don't think I was going to choose these. For the same reason that I didn't really change the rims on the RE7B. I mean, we could uh, we could look at some sport ones. But I just don't think they would. Nah, they don't look too bad, actually. But I really do like the uh, the race car look on the, on the stock wheels. Especially with that yellow text as well. It matches up pretty nicely. So I think I'm going to leave it as that. Again... I'm really, really annoyed that you can't change the wheel colour of stock wheels. It's such, such an annoyance. I don't know why we can't still do that in the game, but yeah. That's uh, one of those annoying things. We can't do tyre design. We'll do bulletproof tyres. We could do a tyre smoke, but I don't think I'll bother for now. And then we'll finish off with some light smoke on the on the windows. And yeah, that's it. Pretty much done for, the, um, for this ETR1. I think out of all the cars, this has the best customization and kind of the variety of customization you can do to it, which is a good thing. We'll check out first person for a bit. Same, uh, you know, same interior styling as the other cars, um, which is nice. I am a, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, the interior view and you know the first person aspect of these race cars is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we'll take it back to the garage. We'll get a nice look at it in some proper lighting. In terms of the actual customization, this one's probably the best in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this one. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the ETR one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. This trio of supercars is looking pretty nice so far in my garage. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now that I've got these three supercars, uh, I'll hopefully start working on that uh, showcase of all three. Uh, that'll take a bit of work in the Rockstar editor. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.